All new at 10, conflict of interest. The city of Tulsa's legal department is removing itself even further from the investigation surrounding the mayor's administration. At the same time, at least one city councilor is questioning Mayor Dewey Bartlett's legal representation. Two News reporter Jason Grubbs joins us live from City Hall to explain this legal limbo. Jason? Well, Russ, the city attorney has every legal right to prosecute any possible violation of city law, but this case is a little different, a little unusual, because the city attorney's office not only provides services to the mayor, it also provides services to the city council. The entire department will stand back. Tulsa City Attorney Deidre Dexter says her department is recusing itself from any possible prosecution of Mayor Dewey Bartlett or his chief of staff, Terry Simonson. City councilors accused the two of misleading them on a federal grant for police officers. In fact, the legal department hasn't had anything to do with the investigation since it started this spring. Our intent was to protect the integrity of the prosecution process should that go forward by having no knowledge or involvement with the underlying investigation. Council Chairman Rick Westcott wonders if Mayor Bartlett's attorney should also recuse himself. For the past several years, Joe Wolgamuth has represented the city of Tulsa in court. I think anyone can look at that and see that Mr. Wolgamuth currently represents the city in more than one lawsuit. And he's also representing the mayor uh, when the city may file criminal charges against him. It's a close call, and I just think it's too close. It's a completely erroneous, baseless, meritless claim. Wolgama says none of the current cases have anything to do with the investigation and that there's no current litigation pending against the mayor, only allegations. Wolgamus says that may or may not change if charges are filed. I would have to evaluate any particular proceeding to determine whether or not there there is there was a conflict and if so whether or not it was a conflict that might be waived so where do we go from here council chairman rick westcott saying that the council is now weighing its options for possible prosecution since the city attorney's office is stepping aside putting live from downtown tulsa tonight jason grubbs two news works for you all right, Jason, thanks. We will continue to follow that. On Thursday, counselors are expected to discuss whether any administrative or internal actions will be taken against Simonson.